So hello, today what we're going to do is talk about concussion. A concussion is called a mild traumatic brain injury, although there's nothing mild about the symptoms you might experience from it. Almost everyone has at some point experienced a head injury, whether that's from playing football where you took a ball to the head, whether it's from a car accident, or when you slipped down the stairs and thwacked your noggin. So this is an extremely common disorder that causes crippling issues for many, many people. Almost no one alive doesn't, almost everyone alive has experienced this at one point or another, or it has a loved one who's experienced a traumatic brain injury. I'm a chiropractic neurologist, and what I'm gonna do here is lay out the most modern research on how concussions work. So we're currently classifying concussions into six different categories because that's such a broad scope. So if you or a loved one has suffered from a concussion, I'm going to explain how we categorize you, which makes it much easier for us to provide the appropriate treatment to help you. Okay? So the first category of concussion would be the cognitive fatigue category of concussion. So if you fit into this category, you may be experiencing slowness of thought, foggy brain, sleep disruptions, and it's going to be very, very difficult to concentrate. You also might be experiencing a non-specific headache where you say, hey doc, you know, I have a headache. Well, where is it? I don't know, it's kind of everywhere. This is the category that you might fit into. So then the second category of concussions would be the vestibular or the dizzy type of concussion. All right, patients here, they will often feel detached. They might explain their symptoms as saying, you know, I really don't feel as if I'm in my own body. I feel like I'm a passenger. You're also, patients in this category are gonna be the ones who are, well, they're gonna be dizzy. So they're gonna feel spinning. When they stand up, they might lose their balance. Um, these patients can be very, very overwhelmed in social settings. Many times, something as simple as going to the mall or going grocery shopping can be extremely overwhelming for you because there's so many sounds and lights coming from all directions. We can even get anxiety when we go to social situations such as parties. Now, the next category of concussion would be the oculomotor or the vision category. Patients who are suffering from an oculomotor concussion are going to have things such as double vision, blurry vision, they can get dry eyes, pressure behind the eye. Uh, reading and concentration becomes very, very difficult. You might start experiencing bad headaches every time you start to read. And this category needs to be treated very differently than the other categories would. So then we move on to our anxiety and mood category. You might have had a loved one and it had, they may have experienced a brain injury and after the brain injury, they might have become angry or depressed. Well, this is because some people, when they suffer a concussion, they injure the part of their brain that's responsible for their mood. So they can become depressed, they can become withdrawn, they can get anxiety. Um, anxiety is when we feel on edge and we can't turn our racing thoughts off. We keep thinking about the same thing over and over again. And it can make life extremely challenging and very, very difficult for us. The next category of concussion that we're going to talk about would be the migraine category. These are patients who are experiencing a very pulsating quality headache. They're going to be extremely sensitive to light and sound. Even just uh, music in the background can be agonizing to them. They'll get nauseous. Um, as a matter of fact, many migraines, which is the third largest category of patients in the world seeking medical care are actually due to the concussion which caused the migraine. So these patients are a very special category of concussion. They need to be treated appropriately. The last category of concussion we're going to talk about today would be the cervical concussion. These are going to be patients who are experiencing bad neck pain, headaches all over the place. They can actually even feel things like pain all throughout their entire body. They can get numbness and tingling shooting into their hands and their feet and even their face. So all of these categories of concussion, they don't have to go to, uh, by themselves. They can be mixed. You can have a mixture of the cognitive fatigue type with the migraine type. You can have a mixture of the anxiety and mood type with the vestibular type. And this is what makes it so tricky when we're treating our individual patients. But the first step is by identifying 
what type of a concussion you have because now we can treat you specifically for your individual presentation, which can be completely different than anyone else who ever had a concussion. So when you're talking to your physician and your healthcare provider, make sure they have an understanding of the individual categories of concussions, which is gonna help them provide you with the best care to get you back to life. Once again, I'm Jonathan Arkin with Napropat Landsleget. Super excited to bring you this fantastic news and looking forward to serving you as you're helping to heal and recover from your brain injury. Now in the next video, we are going to start talking about treatment options. And really, according to research, there are three primary ways to treat concussions. And so we're gonna go all through that in very in depth. So make sure to tune in and pay attention there as we talk, start talking about how we help you on your road to recovery.